I accepted this offer. I want to get used to roadie. It says it's three deliveries. It's medications. It's from East Meadow to Hempstead. There's a return possible. Three items. I, I want to get, I want to go through the motions. Um, it says view all items. It tells you the dimensions and the weight. Okay. But then something else I just, oh, view sender info. Delivering medication access opportunities through technology, empathy, and healthcare expertise. From Script Drop. So I've been here for at least five minutes already before I head out. I saw this. I said, before I head out, I'll wait before I walk around. Okay, they didn't accept me. Sorry, another offer was selected. I know. They didn't give me the prescription. Okay, I'll submit this offer. Home Depot to Point Lookout. I live in Freeport. I'll take a little cruise. I want to get another one underneath my belt. Oh, this one's not available any longer either. Let me... Still there. Submit offer. Offer submitted. Is it going to stay in pending? See, something's wrong. Offer pending. Now it's off for pending. You see that? I'll do that. I hope they give it to me. We'll see. I'm going to try one more time. I don't know why they're not giving me this. Nobody's taking it, so I'll tap it. Submit offer. Give them 15 minutes. By the time I get into my car and get out of here. See, it's not saying pending offer. There's something wrong. It can't be me. It can't always be me. Let's try again. Nah, it's not accepting me at all. I mean, I'm a perfect fit for this. I'm right here. 12 pounds, I can handle that. No problem. Medium gig, got it. Leave the confirmation paperwork with customer. Submit that again. What is the problem? That's disheartening. Any updates? Oh, well, it says elevate your game with such cert certifications. Unlock new opportunities. Well, if I can't accept any jobs, then I'm, I'm never going to get any better. I'm always going to be in the same place. Hmm. I I'll drive towards there. Maybe I'll contact them again either tonight or tomorrow. Finally, you said offer accepted. So start gig. I'm thinking that, yes, it's the Home Depot one. And I'll drive it to Point Lookout. Excellent. Stay tuned. It's telling me to help protect our community. We periodically require drivers to verify their identity by scanning their ID. You may also take a selfie. Okay, I'll take a selfie. Okay, I got back to my car. This was an easy pickup. Even though they told me to go to the customer service desk, which I did, but there's a designated area just for roadie pickups. So you don't have to wait on a long line. But the guy said, you know, you might have to wait five minutes here and there, but this is where we place the roadie pickups. And I confirmed the number and I got the product in my cart. Now here's the product. It's a decorative doggy trick-o-treat very light and this is my first home depot delivery let's get to it now it's asking me take a picture that includes the location and all of the specific items i'm just going to do this you see home depot in the back there you see it in my truck now i know for order verified let's get to it i got to the drop off they told me to take a picture where I left it, the location, take a picture of it to confirm. Okay. Then they also, they want you to verify the delivery. That's where you tap it to take the picture. And they also want you to confirm your picture from when you picked it up. And then you can complete 
swipe complete. After I completed the roadie, I worked Uber Eats and Grubhub locally. And a very nice man came out of one of the homes and greeted me and said, this is probably for one of my kids. Which app are you working? And he asked me some questions. And he said, listen, you know, I'm looking for something to do and I want to earn a few extra dollars. I'm um, assuming that he was retired. He was very nice. So I, ex I showed him my phone and I explained how it works for me and how I work the apps, what, what I do. And while I was there, he goes, my kids are out of control. Look at this. A DoorDash delivery person walked up. And again, the man was very, very nice and spoke clear English. And the DoorDash driver could not understand him. Anyway, I gave him my card with this information on it and I told him to visit my website and I also have my YouTube channel handle on it and he was so appreciative and I said, well, you know, you got to take baby steps. I told him, make sure that you write off your miles and it's a deductible and you you know, I don't know what your situation is. You might not want to earn too much money. He was like, I'm going crazy. I, I, want, to, I want to earn some extra money. I, I need something to do. And he was such a nice man. So I hope he visits my myincomejob.com. I hope he visits the channel. And I did tell him that I do follow the industry across country. I, I watch a lot of videos about many gig workers working out in the field using so many different apps. So make sure you visit myincomejob.com if you want to learn how to earn money offline and online. See you in the next video clip.